So when I was younger, my parents came from Chihuahua, Mexico, and I remember that my mom was cleaning one day, and she, you know, my mom cleans, okay? <laughs> she has the music pumping all the way up, and I remember her being like, "Come on, mija, let's ven a, ven a bailar," and she took my hand, and I felt the warmth of her hand touch my my little hand, you know, because it's all small and she's older, and. At that moment, I started dancing, and she told me, this is how you move your hips, this is how you move your shoulders, and all that little good stuff. So, I'm going to tell you this little quote I love. It dance is a hidden language of the soul and the body. So after this moment that my mom encouraged me to dance, I felt all these emotions, all these vibrations inside of my body, allowing me to express them through movement, right? And I find myself being able to express myself the most when dancing because you don't have to say what you feel right but you show it it's a different way of expressing yourself and i find myself in love with dance and i just feel like it's part of me and who i am and if me and dance went together i wouldn't be able to live <clears throat> so um, when I was younger, uh, I fell through different depressions throughout my life, and for the first one was when my little brother was born. I was like the baby, <laughs> so I was really spoiled, everybody had their attention on me. I was like super cute and adorable, and then when I turned seven, my little brother came in the picture, taking all, all my attention, and I was like, what? So then I started eating a lot, and that was horrible. And throughout my life, there were different instances where life wasn't the best. And I feel like <clears throat> somehow, some way, society has always tried to take our little spark away since we were little. Um, they tell us like negative things, do this, do that, don't, don't laugh right here, don't play over there. And I'm not okay with that. Like, why should, <laughs> why should somebody come and tell you how to feel? how to act. If you know you're, you're pure when you're little, you say what you feel, you do what you please, right? You d never do you see a baby not cry because it doesn't feel good, right? So from this moment on in my life, I chose to be a kindergarten teacher because you don't see teachers being over here telling you, oh, it's OK if you cry or if you don't or parents that tell them, oh, I love you, and you should learn how to love yourself. Never do they teach you how to love yourself, do they? At what point do they tell you, oh, we're going to take a course that allows you to know how to love yourself and accept yourself and appreciate yourself? They, they never do. So, yeah. And <clears throat> um, something interesting about myself, my name is Laura, which symbols, is a symbol of a honor of victory of a bay tree. And Yudi is a sign of <clears throat> praising a lot. So I feel like this, this is totally me. <laughs> when they named me, that was like really me. And my name is Laura Dominguez. I was born in Chihuahua, Mexico. And thank you for listening.